Rocky Balboa has been a cinematic legend for nearly four decades. Since the original film's release in 1976, viewers have been attracted by the underdog story of Rocky, a small-time Philadelphia boxer who rises to fame and money. Taco! The last round of your life! Come on, guys! The last round! Come on, go to more, let's go! Go to more! The series has spawned six films, the most recent of which, Creed 3, will be released in 2023. Fans have been anticipating word of a seventh film in the series, but it has already been cancelled. The cancellation of Rocky 7 came as a surprise to many fans, especially since the previous two films, Creed and Creed 2, were both well received by audiences and critics alike. So So why was the seventh film cancelled? There were several reasons behind it, but the main one was the passing of Sylvester Stallone's longtime friend and co-star Burt Young, who played Paulie in the series. You're no friend no more. Get out of my house, I just said. Don't talk to him like that. Both of you get out of my house. It's hard for me to say these kind of things because that ain't my way. But if I could just unzip myself and step out and be someone else. Stallone, who was also the writer and director of the films, felt that the character of Paulie was such an integral part of the franchise that it wouldn't be the same without him. Despite the cancellation, fans have been speculating about what Rocky VII could have been about. Given the events of Creed II, which saw Adonis Creed, the son of Rocky's former rival and friend Apollo Creed, winning the heavyweight championship, it's safe to assume that the seventh film would have revolved around his career as a boxer. However, the plot could have taken a different turn altogether. Meanwhile, Sylvester Stallone teased Rocky Seven on Instagram, giving a glimpse of what the shelved sequel could have been about before quickly removing the image. The post delves into the unrealized notions that Rocky Seven would have explored, providing a preview of the tale while also displaying some Rocky Seven art. It's not often that so much information about a cancelled film is published so many years later, and Stallone's article provides a rare glimpse at the rejected sequel. While Rocky 7 is intriguing, it's a good thing it didn't happen. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone's Instagram post included some notes for Rocky 7, outlining three story threads that the film would have addressed. Rocky's restaurant, which was last seen in Creed 2, would have played a significant role in Rocky 7. Adrian's, named after Rocky's late wife, was established in Rocky Balboa, with Sylvester Stallone's character running it after retiring from boxing. The cafe is the last vestige of Adrian in the film after the death between Rocky V and Rocky Balboa, making its inclusion in Rocky VII a wise and a sentimental decision. This restaurant scenario links to another plot element in Rocky VII, as the film would have highlighted how Rocky has been coping with Adrian's loss. You walk down the street breaking hearts the way you're looking, very shot. I got, I got another surprise for you. What? The tweet features a scene in which Rocky is either remembering or envisioning a time with Talia Shire's Adrian, presumably implying that she may appear in the film as a cameo. Adrian's death happened before Rocky Balboa's story, and although she is the franchise's emotional center, Rocky didn't appear that bothered about it. Rocky dealing with his sadness would have been a dark and interesting way to tell a story that Rocky Balboa would have missed out on. A Rocky picture would not be a Rocky film without boxing, and Stallone's now-deleted article provides insight into the film's boxing plot. According to the post, Rocky Seven would have had Rocky meet a brand new fighter while visiting a boxing club, 27 years old, boxer Chuko the Mutt. It's unclear where the plot will go, but there appear to be two viable options. Rocky may have gone out of retirement to face the young fighter, as he did in Rocky Balboa. Another potential plot for the film could have been Adonis Creed facing off against the son of Ivan Drago, the man who killed his father in the ring. This would have been a fitting conclusion to the story arc that began with Creed and continued in Creed 2. The film could have explored themes of revenge, forgiveness and redemption, and given closure to the Creed family. Even after the discontinuation of Rocky 7, the franchise's legacy continues to inspire fans all around the world. The series has enduringly affected popular culture, from its legendary training montages to its recognizable characters and quotable quips. 
One of the reasons for the franchise's longevity is its ability to adapt and evolve with the times. The first Rocky film was released in the 1970s, a time of political instability, economic uncertainty and social unrest. While on the other side, if we look at the most enduring aspects of the franchise, it has been the character of Rocky himself. Played by Sylvester Stallone, Rocky is a flawed and a complex character who audiences can't help but root for. He's not perfect, he makes mistakes, he struggles with his emotions, and he often doubts himself. But he also has a heart of gold and he's willing to do whatever it takes to help his friends and loved ones. Another reason why the franchise has endured is its emphasis on the importance of hard work and determination. Rocky may not have been the most naturally gifted boxer, but he was willing to put in the time and effort to become the best. His training montages have become iconic and they continue to inspire people around the world to pursue their dreams and never give up. Of course, the franchise has also faced its share of criticism over the years. Some have accused the films of perpetuating harmful stereotypes, such as the idea that Italian-Americans are all involved in organized crime. Others have criticized the series for its portrayal of boxing, arguing that it glorifies a violent and dangerous sport. Despite these criticisms, yet the franchise remains beloved by many. Its enduring popularity is a testament to its ability to capture the spirit of the times and to tell compelling stories that resonate with audiences. So, while the cancellation of Rocky VII may be disappointing for fans of the franchise, it's important to remember that the legacy of the series lives on. Whether through re-watching the classic films or discovering them for the first time, audiences can continue to be inspired by the story of Rocky Balboa and the underdog spirit he embodies. The cancellation of Rocky VII was a disappointment for fans of the franchise. However, it's understandable why Stallone chose to cancel the film after the passing of Burt Young. The potential plots for the film, however, show that there was still a lot of untapped potential in the series. As for Sylvester Stallone, it's clear that the franchise has had a profound impact on his life and career. In a 2019 interview with Variety, he reflected on the legacy of the series and what it has meant to him over the years. I'm amazed at how it's held up, he said. I think it's because it's about people, it's about the human spirit, and no matter what walk of life you're from, you can relate to that. Indeed, the legacy of Rocky Balboa and the franchise that bears his name is a testament to the enduring power of storytelling and the ability of cinema to inspire and uplift. Whether or not we'll ever see another Rocky film remains to be seen, but one thing is for sure, the legacy of the Italian stallion will live on for generations to come.